Hey turtle nerds, welcome back to another video. So today I'm going to go over how I built this little DIY basking area for my turtles in maybe a half hour and it cost me less than two dollars. This general idea can be used in any kind of turtle tub, tank, even a large scale pond this idea can be used and I'm making this to be more inspirational than a step-by-step -step DIY project just showing you guys really how easy it can be and how creative you can get to build a basking area for your turtles. So let me kind of show you my idea and my thought process going into this project. All right folks so I am literally doing this in like 20 minutes hopefully setting up these two um wood horses I'm gonna go ahead because it rained last night and temperatures dropped it got to 75 ish so the turtles got cold and now they're all basking at once and so basically their platform is not big enough anymore the kind of area that they have my little piece of driftwood so i'm just gonna rig up something real quick show you how stupid simple easy it is to get your turtles a nice basking platform so let me just cut this piece of wood we're gonna cut a two foot section drill some holes that way i can tie string to keep it stable and i'll show you basically how easy and uh, simple it is all right so there is really no power tools necessary just two of these horses you can use anything really to stabilize your piece of wood I have a little mark right down here that is two feet going this way and just make sure you don't have pressure treated wood, no chemicals, no screws or nails in it because those will rust. But wait. You like jazz? I'm just going to go ahead and hand cut this and uh, move on from there. No. Uh, close, but no. No. There we go. Okay, so I have my little mark. I have this all set up. Now you just kind of hold on. So see, your piece doesn't really have to have a smooth edge. It doesn't really matter. It's just for the turtles to climb up on. So here we go. Now we got our pieces. Um, I'm only going to be using this one. That's all there is to it. Let me go ahead and get some, some things, some strings rigged up. And I'll get back to you guys in a moment. Okay, so I put the horses back. I'm literally just going to use this piece of wood as just something to get this a bit off the ground. I'm gonna drill my holes in either end and then feed the strings through and shoot you guys pretty much the finished product. All right, folks, so after realizing that your old piece of wood has some paint on it that could accidentally leach out into the water and harm your turtles, go ahead and get a new piece. Now make sure that it is, uh, I probably should have mentioned this earlier, make sure that the piece of wood is free of any spray paint, um, any glue, any paint, anything like that that could leach into the water and harm your turtles. So I have this new piece. It is all clean and clear. I'm gonna go ahead and uh, drill the holes and show you guys basically how I'm making this basking area. All right, folks, so here you can see where my two holes are drilled. And on this other end, we have two more holes drilled. Basically what I'm going to do is feed some fishing line through here, come up under here, and then have the two ends meet over top of the kind of mesh, uh, the chicken wire that I have here. And that way it will stay upright and float and provide a nice long basking area because here's beef, right? Here he is, and here's bean who has gotten absolutely massive. So this basking area is no longer big enough, especially when they all want to bask at once, which is very common now because it has been raining a lot and so it's been cold and they want to bask. Okay, everyone, so here is the finished product pretty much. Look, you can already see them kind of starting to use it, getting used to this new thing in their enclosure. So I have this low end over here for them to kind of use as a ramp to get up on the piece of wood. And then a high end over here for them to get them closer to the sun. It makes them feel better pretty much the higher up they are. 
Also, this is just a piece of wood because it is not pressure treated. It will rot eventually. However, you can probably keep this wood in here for at least a couple years before I really start experiencing any issues. And even then, this was literally $2. It was $1.50. It was a scrap piece of wood, and I had to make sure that, you know, there was nothing really on it that would affect the turtles or the quality. And so this piece of wood pretty much fit with what I wanted to do. So overall, this is just some fishing line, two holes, and tied up onto here to stabilize the piece of wood. And then if you really want to, in order to make it easier for the turtles to climb up, I have this piece of wood already for them. You can take a little bit of egg crate. It's like this, you can find it in the lighting section of Home Depot. It's this white grid kind of stuff. Just take two screws and put them on and have that act as a little ramp for your turtles to climb up on. But really, the main purpose of this video is to show you guys that making a basking area doesn't have to be hard and it doesn't have to be expensive. And that is it for this basking area. Um, basically now they can all fit very comfortably on this piece of wood and on the driftwood and they're going to be real happy with this. Thank you all so much for watching this video if you enjoyed it please hit the like button if you want to see more of the videos that i am creating please hit the subscribe button and hit the little bell thingy to make sure that you do not miss a single one of my new uploads so thank you again for watching if you have any questions just let me know in the comments i make sure to read and answer them all and i'll see you all in the next video